Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. So today, since my last video, which was only posted a couple days ago, I'm posting so much now. Since that video costed me kind of a lot, and I didn't make that much back from the actual unit, I need to make the money back. Have you seen my social blade lately? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. For this video, what I want to do, I want to once again test different ways you can make money. Because there's a lot of ways you can get paid in this world that you might not know about. I think it's always good to have a backup plan for YouTube and I, this might inspire some of you to get out there and provide for your family. Like this first way we're gonna test, let's say you're right out of college or high school, you need a job, you could rent out your friendship with rentafriend.com. Now this sounds fake, but it's a real site that if you ever don't wanna do anything alone, you could pay and rent a friend. It says here, as of Wednesday, June 19th, 2019, there are over 621,585 friends available for rent worldwide. You would think a site like this would be dead, but it's apparently not. All these people are in, just in my area. I didn't see this before. There's almost 300 pages of people. That's a lot. I don't know if that many people are looking for friends to rent. Uh, and. And why is the first guy on the list named Diet Coke? More information about Diet Coke. Basically looking for a travel friend. He's a male, 62 years old, um, height average, eyes blue, okay. I kinda wanna rent Diet Coke, but this isn't what I'm looking for. I wanna be the one to make the money. So I signed up and created my profile. So now along with YouTube, I will be hanging out with friends full time. This is what it's like signing up. You could choose your rate. You can choose 10 an hour, 20 an hour, 50 an hour. I'm really looking forward to my new job. This is the only bad news though. I've been signed up for about a week. I have a really cool profile. I'd rent me, but I've gotten no messages. So I don't know. I don't know if it's me or if it's my face. Um, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I think it's the fact that there's 300 pages of people in my area. Since I haven't had success so far, let's move on. I think I want to do a whole video though, just renting friends. I don't know what I would do, but I feel like I can rent friends and do something. Next way to earn money, this one, this is a unique one. I think it's something we've all heard about, but I don't think many people actually do it. This article says donating sperm can be a great way to earn extra money. Which the idea of this, in theory, it sounds great. It's an easy way to make money. It's not it's not hard to do. Well, something's hard, but not the job. But I think what draws people away maybe is going to the actual clinic to do that might be kind of weird. Or I think the idea of having technically your kids running around somewhere in the world is strange. Which I kind of agree with that. The thought of having like little me's actually possibly running around the world and I don't know about it, it's a weird thing to accept. But for this video, we have to test if it's a good way to make money or not. So we're gonna do it, but I'm not actually gonna do it. I'm gonna get my friend Kevin to do it because he said he's down. Uh, what the hell? He said he's down and willing to test if this is a good way to make money. I'm gonna film the process. If he does actually make money, I think I'll probably take like at least 20% from it. And hey, before we go to the sperm bank, keep in mind, this may, might seem strange, but he's gonna help a beautiful family fulfill their dreams of having a kid that will now look like Kevin. So he signed up online and before you actually give your first donation to get paid, you have to give a sample to see and they're just gonna test it to see if their your count is high enough. So we did that a couple weeks back. Okay, we're at the bank, the sperm bank that is. Okay, Kevin's about to give a sample to see if he even qualifies, but what I wanna go over, I wanna go over what are the requirements to actually donate. Basic requirements for CCB, uh, this is California sperm donors, uh, at least 5'8", between 19 and 38 years old, sexual partners are exclusively female, currently attending or have graduated from college, I fail there, are in good health and legally allowed to work in the United States. And the last requirement, you have to wait 48 hours before you even donate. Uh, yeah, they prefer a two day span. That way your sperm count is like high and you have a, a, a big enough donation. So you waited the 48 hours. Was this probably the hardest part of this whole process? You know, it's difficult because you know about what's going on in my life right now, you know? So I don't have a release, you know? This is my release some days, you know? So 
me not being able to. And if you guys don't know, Kevin has a kid, so the extra money's gonna help, right? Sometimes you gotta donate kids to help feed your kids. If you, I wanna ask you this, if you pass, you're gonna continue to do this beyond just the video? Um, yes. How often, I don't know, but you can make up to a thousand a month. That's pretty good, that's like rent. I mean, that's my car payment, my insurance, and rent. For All me. paid for. Yeah. By your sperm. Yeah, and I've been doing it for free for years. Okay, I don't know if I'm gonna go in. You need I feel like go. I should I stay need, in the I need car. You. No, I need you there. Okay, I'll go in. Thank you, man. So that was cool, just you know, two guys going to the sperm bank together. So about two days went by, they tested the sample, and Kevin received this email. Thank you for your visit to the sperm bank and applying to become a sperm donor with our program. After analyzing your sperm donation, your specimen did not meet our standard of 300 million cells or greater. Due to the freezing and thawing process, many sperm cells die, which require a very high cell count and quality. Less than 10% of our applicants can meet this high standard. Thank you for your time and interest in becoming a donor. And that's it. He, he didn't pass, which means no money. So sad. I think if you wanted to, you could retry at a later date, but I don't know if Kevin, I don't know if Kevin can handle the rejection twice, so I don't think he is. So maybe this is better off for one of you out there. It was still worth the try because, I mean, we got some cool sperm merch that I will definitely be wearing from now on. <laughs> Moving on, the next way to make money, this one is great because any one of you can do it. It says here, if you're creative, you can sell your handmade art or something artistic online. So I thought, let me try this out and let me make a painting and put it up online and like someone in the world is gonna buy it. The only problem I have is that I'm not artistic at all. The thing that gives me hope is that you would think expensive paintings need to be like extravagant. Like this painting, this sold, for 300 million. What? This one sold for 200 million. This one looks like just a bunch of scribbles, honestly. Or this one, this one sold for 186 million. I don't get it, but it gives me hope. So I figured since I can't paint, I found this tactic online that if you fill water guns with paint and then you just shoot it at the canvas, I think I can make something similar to this. Maybe even better. So go ahead and sit back and watch this art being made. This is our final product. It actually came out better than I thought. Not on camera though. Okay, see, it's, I kinda love it. I think I'm gonna sell this for $100. So after it dries and after this video, I'm gonna make an ad for it. There's tons of websites, ArtPal, which is the one I'll probably use. Whoever ends up buying it, they're just gonna get, I think a really nice art piece that really pops in their home. Finally, we have one more way to test to make money and this one is gonna get weird and I'm saying that after we tested donating sperm. An article didn't even tell me about it. I found out about it. I think I might have even talked about it before. If you look on eBay, if you type in the term, I don't even think this is allowed on eBay, but if you type in the term used socks, tons of socks are being sold for a lot of money. $40, $35, $35, 35 and this is all by the same guy. This guy made 150 just by selling socks within a day. And even the, ew. This crusty ass pair of socks sold for $50.
That's like four hours minimum wage. And you would think it would be mostly women's socks that sell, but men's sell, it seems like just as much. But for this video, I wanted to see how realistic it is to actually sell your socks on eBay. So I decided to take an old pair of socks that I don't care about. I took pictures. I made an ad online. I didn't know how much to sell it for. It was my first pair, so I only put it for $7. So I did that, and if you're wondering if it's sold or not, let me tell you, it did, and I got the money. <laughs> it sold within like a couple hours. I put it up at night, and it's, it's kind of weird the time it sold. I got the notification that it sold at 2 a.m. Someone bought my socks at 2 a.m. And the guy that bought it, I sold it to some guy named Joe. So Joe bought my used socks. I've had those socks for a couple years too. That's why I didn't mind selling them. So who knew that this, nothing in this video has made me money, but this is the one that actually has made me money. So overall, selling socks, not that bad of a business. <sighs> okay, but I think we're done here. That's all the tactics for money making that I'm gonna test today. I hope I helped you find a new job possibly. I'll leave my rent a friend page uh, down below if you wanna rent me as a friend. I think I'm gonna start charging $50 because I need the money. Have you seen my upload schedule? Which, by the way, I'm gonna fix that. I don't wanna be uploading as bad as I have been. I'm gonna fix it, okay? Shh. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, shout out to Kevin for uh, trying the donation thing. I feel like he's the only friend I have that was, would probably be willing to actually do that for the video. I think he told me at one point he was gonna do it. Just doing it, not even like for a video, just to get money. But I think that pretty much wraps up this video. Thank you all for making it to the end of this video. I love you guys, and hopefully, I'll see you next time.